It is pretty good too. He's first face banned by Entity though. Ember. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. The spirit still in is the Ember Spirit. Storm Storm already down mid. Yeah. Well, why the hell not? Who are they going for though? Storm Stormer already in a bit of trouble. Puppy just rushing forward. The T1 Tower Storm Stormer. Getting caught out very early. Secret. The high ground advantage is pure. He doesn't know. They missed the spear however. Maybe that'll allow pure to get out of this but not quite. The slow from the mine a bit too much, I think, as Pure's gonna drop now in secret. Are they done yet? It looks like they wanna try and back their way out as Entity. Gonna try and punish at least Zayat. Sole assumption they're not gonna be quite enough in Kataomi. He's gotta get within range for that Stormhammer, but Zayat, he's going oh. for the deny out. Oh. Chrysalis shows up, however, secret. They might find a third kill already, Jonathan. Oh, Good this boy. is classic SEA Dota. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it does look like secrets, you know, they're, they're feeling that vibe here in Malaysia, playing really aggressive early on. 3-0 start. This is already a very terrible start, enough time just finding that farm. And that is something that they've got to worry about it a bit on Entity. Again, their draft is much more suited for the last patch. Oh, there goes Pure. Yeah, that's slow. Like, you got the gush, you got the mine, and it's just way too much to deal with. Resolution, he'll take him down. Fishman. Going to show up with the Nightmare as well, but the hook block is going to be there from the tide to make sure Zayat and not going to take it. Oh, that's a great hook though, Pure! He oh. still finds the angle, but he's going to drop for it. In fact, Fishman, he's trying to secure the kill, but he'll get nothing. Zayat ba barely able to survive through it. Oh, you've got to be hurting if, you, if you're Pure. It's oh. mid lane. They find the Ember as well. Poppy setting up perfectly, so Nisha. Be worrying when you do see your support Sven ahead of your offlane Visage. Still a slower start for Toby and still Nisha. pretty much free farm for pistols. Oh, rotations. Puppies here once again. Storm Storm are going to be targeted as they've got the blast off silence once again onto the Ember into the spear combination. Storm Stormer, oh. he'll remnant just barely. Does make his way out and he's going to be just fine, but instead they'll go for Fishman. Somehow, however, they miss the mine, so Fishman will be able to run his way out. Nice spear oh. though, Nisha. May have just set up perfectly onto Fishman. He'll go for the Nightmare, but he is going to drop. Here comes Karaomi. They'll try to at least find Nisha, but look at this Giga Chat, John. Nisha's going to man up. The Sven doesn't have the damage, Ooh. and now the Arena. Well, we'll call that a zoning arena, John. It's a zoning <laughs> arena. Zoning arena. Don't know what you can do as the Bane. They might have to just try and scout out what Nisha's up to as the Spear actually doesn't connect onto Fishman. Nightmare is there as well. Fishman going to go for a run, but Nisha going to be right behind him and should have enough damage to finish the job off. Meanwhile, Zayat still fighting here against the Ember for the Disarm. Going to save the day is now bot lane. Crystalis in a bit of danger. Karaomi and Toby trying to chase through the tree line. Got some durability on hand, but there's no hero that's really playing on Entity. You need some more farm on your Ember. You need farm on your Pudge. Oh, Storm no. is trying to run. No! Oh, man. Oh, he was right on the edge. He had a double damage and it still wasn't enough. Puffy gets the deny off of the neutral creeps and well, Storm Stormer, he'll try for Zayat. Slide of fists are landing, but the double damage is going to wear off. And now the turnaround with the mines and the blast off. It's incoming. Nice remnant away, though. Barely getting away before that silence connects. Is now pure. Going to go after Rezo. The dismember will not last long as the Ravage. Going to be committed immediately onto that Poz 1 Pudge and take him out. Meanwhile, mid lane, though, Nisha in trouble. But stick charges are there. He's going to potentially survive this. But no, the oh. Bane is out. They'll be able to at least find Nisha. Zayat, he'll go for a run. Karaomi going to keep the chase going. But it looks like the techies is going to be just fine. But Entity, they find that mid Mars. And But it's not quite there. It does feel like you're going to need a lot more, Nisha. Oh. Humblest Toy, able to get him out just in time, so the arena completely wasted and now Entity. This might be the team fight they can actually take, but Ooh. in they go. Ravage is there by resolution. Connecting onto two. They'll pop the Fiend Trip on the Mars, but it's going to do nothing. Nisha's still fine. Maybe they can take him out, though. Eventually they will, Toby. He's on a double. Not too bad of a team fight so far for Entity, but now Fishman going to be in danger. So will Zayats, however, a Storm Stormer does move forward. In come the buybacks as well. The Bane going to rejoin the team fighter Zayats. Still going for a run, but Storm Stormer will be on the chase as Fishman. What's he going to get done here on the Bane now? They take down the Techies, but Fishman. Oh, he's going to die back right away. Still, Chrysalis is also going to get caught out. Maybe the tieback's worth it here for the side of Entity is Rezo. He'll go for a run, but the chains are out from Storm Stormer. Can they deal with the tide? Rezo, he's a tanky, tanky boy here, John, and he'll just run his way slowly but surely. Didn't they go pure? Going to show up as well, and eventually they should have the damage, surely. Rezo, not going anywhere. Spear out from Nisha. He'll die eventually. 
if you're Entity, oh. considering the start of the game, you are looking very happy now. The Stormstormer, well, maybe he's not so happy, John, but a massive stun out. Zayat, he'll still go for the blast off. Mines will be there to slow him down. And eventually they will find the mid-ember. So never mind. Still very confident on this tide, just so tanky as Nisha. He'll miss time to speed this time around. Unable to get Stormstormer. A huge oh. ravage though, Rezo setting up for the blast off of Zayat. The Ember's in trouble again. The Silence still going, but maybe he has time. No, he won't, Puppy. He'll get him with the Ignite. Oh, it's not a good team fight whatsoever. In fact, Pure can't even deal with the Ogre right now. Puppy's just running in back Nisha. He'll make the jump in. Pure in trouble. Fishman is there with the Fiend Grip to hold Nisha down. So Pure going to be able to walk his way out. Tataomi able to secure Puppy, but now he'll drop. Pure still trying, but Resolution. He'll happily man fight this punch if he has to. Eventually will back his way out, but Nisha right back in onto Fishman. Should have the beam. The blast off is there. Zayat moving right in onto the punch. They'll find another. Onto the visage they go. Rezo. He'll tank right through the tier 2 tower and Toby. But he'll go for the stone form, but chances are he's not making his way out of this one. He's oh, gone. Man, it just doesn't stop. Secret just keeps oh. still be able to do something. Rezo's got Ravage up in 8 seconds. He'll get started. Blast oh, off is there. No. They've got the shards up. The Ember already taken down. They'll find Zayats and the Techies, but it's not a good trade on Rezo. He's looking for that Ravage opportunity. When does he pop it, though? They'll go onto the Visage. Pure going to try and help out Rezo. He still has the Ravage, just being very patient as Nisha now. We'll go for the Spear back on Kataomi. That'll be another to go down, and now oh. the Ravage. Oh, to three heroes. Can they keep going, though? The Visage dropping very low. Toby barely going to survive as Pure. He'll go for the hook onto Chrysalis and try to go for the kill, but it's not quite enough. Chrysalis, he'll make his way out. Fishman still trying. So is the but it doesn't look like a good team fight whatsoever. Chrysalis, he'll finally drop, getting a little bit greedy there for the damage. So Toby, he'll get something for his trouble, but eventually it will cost his own life. Not the worst team fight for Entity, but also not the best. Not quite the best, but they get some value out. That's the eggs of pure being used there, melting through Chrysalis. Still no BKB on that TA, and again, build up now with Dragonlance. Game, this is longer, although. In they go again. On the Ember this time around, the Familiars are there to help in Stormstormer. He'll avoid the blast off just barely. The chains will be there to allow himself out for fish, but he will be the sacrifice here for Entity. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to make it very, very hard, or rather the proximity mines. Make it rather hard to actually make their way over secretly, though Nisha getting hooked up. A very nice start here from Pure. Arena Ooh. is down, and what a blast what? off Zayat! Oh, he sets up perfectly. Will it matter, though? They are still dropping on the side of Secret as Crystalis is going to drop to Pure. Entity somehow still making this one work as Puppy. Also going to get caught out, it seems, in Zayat. He's not out of danger yet either. Still trying to run on this Techies. Might just make it. And the Roshan hit Entity. They may not realize the smoke is happening right now. Wards are down for the Vision. Fishman already getting caught out here on the Bane. In they go oh. with the Ravage. Once again, perfect from Resolution. Onto three targets. That'll be a spend gone. Toby, he's going to tr try and survive through this, but there's no surviving. There's no help in coming. Toby will drop three down for the side of Entity and Secret. Now they can safely take Roshan. They've got a clear angle into it. This does leave them without Ravage, but you don't have any major buyback line up for Entity. Toby's gone. Yeah, and we have to remember now as well, we've got the Shard already up on Resolution. So even with Ravage down, it's not like the Tide can't fight. Right, and we go, we'll see it here now, probably Rezo. He's gonna try and go for a run. Pure, he's got the hand up. Ooh. There's your little Ravage <laughs> coming up from Resolution. And he's fine. Mine's out, Pure. I don't know if he can get the job done here. Stormstormer, he'll move in. Arena down, they do get the tide. Not a bad start here for Entity, but can they make their way out? Pure for now gonna be just fine as Stormstormer. He'll frontline for the team with the blast off. It's gonna be there once again. Mine's out, they blow him up. In goes Zayat. He wants a bit more now, but Pure gonna find him out on the pudge. We'll take him down as Nisha. He'll keep trying to move forward. They'll have the trap slow, but it's not gonna be enough. A successful team fight for Entity this time around in the mid lane. Yeah, they managed to make it work. They get some punishment onto Resolution. She's going to get caught out here by the Visage, so Pure and Toby able to secure the kill as Rezo still wants to go. They'll find Toby on that Visage. Fiend's Grip will be there, but the Ravage going to cancel off immediately as they find Fishman. Buyback is immediate, though, as Pure. He wants a team fight. They'll keep moving in. Dismember is there onto the TA, but the blast off Zayat. Not going to connect on anyone. The BKB was there in time from Pure. In goes Rezo, trying to run. Pure on the chase. Meanwhile, to the north, Crystalis. He's been caught out here. Stormstormer should have the damage and eventually will. Crystalis, he'll keep fighting, but there's no chance. Aegis will go down. 
He's completely alone. Nisha, knowing he cannot help out his POS1, will have to see him die on the high ground. And he'll be the only survivor. It's getting a bit scary. Entity's hitting their spikes, you know, they're ready to go on his way. And Entity, they're looking to make something happen and maybe just swing onto that Roche. Jump in, pure, dismember is there. Rezo, he'll be the first target. Hookback is there as well. Stormstormer, he'll move in, but Rezo, proving to be a little bit too tanky and getting the stun into Nisha. Spear will not land, the BKB was there in time from Stormstormer. So, so far, so good for Entity. Not able to find the pickoff they wanted. They should be able to back off, or do they? Pure, he'll pop the BKB into the hook onto Reza, but the dismember, he gets purged off immediately, still they find the tide. A great start. Now the Fiend Grip, gonna hold down Nisha in his own arena, but Besides, oh. he's in with the blast off once again. Maybe saving the day for Secret, or maybe not. Crystalis, he'll try to go for a run, but he is dropping rather low now. Stormstormer, gonna be able to finish off the job. Oh, they keep trying to turn it around, but even Nisha, getting caught out, will be taken down. A massive win for the side of Entity. And there was no follow through. Zayek comes in just a little bit too late. And with that kind of opening, uh, Roche is open for them. It looks like Entity wants more. Yeah, they do. They'll find Puppy and Syat. He's going to jump in, but that's complete suicide. He does find Pure, though. He does end up finding Pure. <laughs> uh, it's worth. It's definitely worth. That stops any chance of Roshan. That is all of Secret down, but it's not like Entity can do. And it looks like he will. Instead, they'll focus on the arcane rune. The bottom side is... Oh, Kuria, <laughs> it's going to see him. Zayats, he'll TP oh. out, but remnants fall. The chains are there. <laughs> oh, sometimes the couriers, they give you that extra bit of value. Zayats, he will be punished. Ah, oh, man, he, he got tempted. You know, he saw one courier fly by. He didn't try to go for it. He goes for it this time, gets punished. And by the visage. Toby. See Puppy instead on the Ogre. That'll be a nice way to get this team fight started. With the, the four staff away, trying to get his way out, but Pure's there. Nisha barely avoiding the hook there from Pure. So Puppy will go down. The Familiar's still giving plenty of vision here for the side of Entity. Nothing else going to come out of this, though. They might just try and secure another T2 tower here, perhaps in the mid lane. Hearing with the tide, but those Familiars are fairly tanky here. Yeah, tier 3 tower just not gonna last. Entity, they'll keep going. Spear is out, Nisha. He'll try to slow it down, but a nice hook away. Pure not gonna allow it. Arena down now, and Pure right back in onto the bars. Nisha's gone. Oh boy, things are getting very awkward now for Secret. They've got the buyback available on Nisha, but it's still a very hard rack to defend. It eventually will go down, but oh. Rezo, he'll jump in. There's your Ravage. There's a double Ravage out. Maybe this is the team fight. Stormstorm is gone. Arena down as well. Nisha, he'll keep the fight going as Pure. He'll man up. He'll be a Giga oh Chat here God. in the mid lane. Look at this shot. The hill's coming out. Pure, he's not going to die. There goes Puppy as well. Rezo, he'll keep it going. But how do you keep this fight up? Zayats, he'll run, but GG's called. They have seen enough. Oh, what a game coming out. Game number one here between Secret and Entity. What a game it was, Jonathan. Yeah, that's one way to end in style. You get that die back on position five. five seconds remaining. What lanes well against uh, a potentially Lone Druid or Ember Spirit or Visage, you know? And that was a very strong lane in game number one. I mean, they made it look very, very easy. Uh, this time against the uh, the bear of, of Pure. In fact, hold that Thor, because Nisha. Oh, He's gonna have the damage. He gets lucky with the proc, and oh, it's gonna hurt for Stormstormer. Meanwhile, Zayats uh, play around with Fishman a little bit, but but Nisha does have the salve. And oh, here we go again. Oh Stormstormer, God. can he run? Uphill miss is there. Maybe that actually saves the day for Stormstormer. And meanwhile, top lane Fishman is gonna drop on the Chen. Zayats, he will be chased down here by Pure, but they just can't. Rotations, Fishman, he wants his revenge on this Chen, but the TP, it's oh, taking way no. too long. Zayats, he's going to take the bounty as well. Surely they kill this techies off. Meanwhile, Nisha, oh, he's going to find Stormstormer again. And yeah. Zayats, look at this man. He's still all right. He'll go for the deny attempt. Can they get oh, it? What? Oh, no, they can't get it. All that harassment, and he hasn't quite lost this bear, so it's still kind of building up. Just has to watch his hero. Oh, I think he's gone here, John Pure. He's going to try to run, but there's no chance. It's just way too much slow. And look at this once again, Nisha. I'm back to the fountain a little bit faster. Fishman, he might have to do the same very soon. In fact, never mind. He'll get a free TP here from the side of Secret. <laughs> bye bye, Fishman. Uh. It's, this feels like <laughs> it's massive. Yeah. I mean, 
just, I don't know, like, it, this Ember is the one that's supposed to take care of the Sniper, but it's just so far behind. They Maybe might they find, find some punishment. This could be the first kill of the game here for Entity if they are able to secure the support Sven. Problem is, John, in the meantime, you have lost the mid-tier 1 tower, so Puppy will be more than happy to die for their trouble. You got the mid-tier 1 out of that. No defense to come out for it. Parts of the map they still have control of. And, you know, they've they've managed to keep the network lead down to just 4k. It's not expanding, so it's not like Secret's getting much more than Entity. They're keeping parity, although... Bot lane, they'll find the Visage. Nice easy pick off here, Zayats and Rezo able to set up, and they'll even find the Familiars. Stormstormer, he tries to help out, but there's not much he can do, and look who he's run into. <laughs> Nisha, leave the man alone. You've already terrorized him during the laning stage. Stormstormer, he'll keep trying to run, but Nisha's not backing off. Puppy's there to back him up as well. Nice bushwhack though, Kataomi. Gonna return it back the way of Puppy, and maybe they can find a decent trade for themselves, but the uphill misses there. Puppy, does he actually get his way out? Not quite. Fishman, actually picking up all kills for the side of Entity so far, now on a killing spree. In. This could be a massive bait from Puppy. Bushwhack's not going to land. Kataomi, he's still going. Stormstormer, he'll move in as well. Where's the backup? Rezo, he's decided to go into the Chen instead. So they'll let the Sven die. They'll try to at least find a bit of a support trade here. It's Rezo, he'll keep going, but he's going to be forced to pop that Ravage. If he wants to kill him, he will not. Great blocks by the Chen creeps. Fishman. God definitely giving him that buffer to just kind of live through that one. And... It's a, it's a Valiant attempt though, that's just two supports making the jump in, no cores were really there for that. We go again, start out, this time they'll find Fishman on the Chen. Puppy may have sacrificed himself for this though, and Fishman, he's not down yet, but here comes Crystalis. You've got the Ags up on the Bristleback. Very scary timing now for Entity to try and deal with. They will chase down Stormstormer in the mid lane. And for a bit of a run, Remnant's back up in one, in fact he already had one out anyway. He's perfectly fine. No stress for him with Pure on the Pudge, and they just ran in with that spell on Same thing holds, except it's only really him who benefits from the BKB here. Oh, Kataomi. This is not a very fun position for him. He's just gone. <laughs> so much damage from this Bristleback. Into the top tier 2 tower they go. Still holding on to the tier 3 tower hits. Entity forced to try and defend somehow. Fishman will try to back his way up, but it's just so much damage. You can't get close. Nah, you really can't. And the hold of Entity here, it's not the most amazing thing in the world. The Rave Clear isn't quite there. They've got the Creep Army here. Oh, oh. Ravage is out. They found Toby on the Visage. Can they take him out, though? A great bushwhack to save the day for now, but Chrysalis, he'll pop the BKB right back on Toby. They'll take another. Onto the T3 Tower once again. That'll drop. Pure trying to force them back with the Savage Raw, but it's not going to be enough. Pure, he'll lose another Spirit Bear. Respawn it up immediately, but how do you stop Secret? They are not backing off. Not quite yet. You don't have the break from this Hoodwink either. Right? Could just go right down to the mid lane and find another. Yeah, they could just go for... Heck, they could go for the end game. Blast off. Perfect timing. Stormstormer. He's gone. Secret, they'll dive right in. Why not? Buffet available in the dire, dire fountain, and then they go into the mid lane. Tier 3 tower. Mid. There's no Stormstormers around there somewhere. Maybe hoping someone goes to the low ground and just secure another pick off. And there you go, the blast off again. Perfect timing. No BKB available to save the day, and now they'll go right up to Kataomi. That should be another. In fact, Toby, he'll try to run his way up, but there's no running. Just too much damage. Secret. They might just start on the tier 4 towers now. Yeah. I mean, this is just disgusting. You've oh. got the Desolator on Nisha, you've got the minus armor from Goo, minus armor from Gosh. They just die. Revolting. They, they, there's just no way you stop this. And again, onto the high ground. There's just no defense, no buyback in the Visage. They'll, they'll try, though. Uh, more animal cruelty to come out here against the Spirit Bear Pure. Gonna lose another one. Storm Stormer, he jumped in. They call the GG. They've seen enough. They know the Imp is gone. No survival for the side of Entity as they will drop game number two in secret. Managed to force the tie here one to one in this best of.